Hi, first graders. It's Mrs. Owens, and I'm going to be talking about our vending machine assignment for today. Um, hopefully, you've already gone on BookFlix and read the book or listened to the book all about money. We are going to be using money and coins a lot this week, so that's really important that you make sure to spend some time on there. And each lesson we're going to do today will be using coins or money or cents. So we are going to make our own vending machines today. First, I want to talk about what a vending machine is, and then I want to go over the directions. You may have seen a vending machine before in real life. Sometimes people call a vending machine a Coke machine or a snack machine. And actually, the example that we're going to be using today to look at before we make our own is actually a vending machine with snacks inside. So a vending machine is an electronic machine, and usually it's somewhere in public where lots of people are walking by and can stop and use it. And you use the machine to buy items like snacks or drinks. If you stop at this vending machine to shop, you will insert your coins or your dollars into the machine. Let's see if we can make this so it's not so blurry. There we go. After you put your money in the machine, if you put extra money and you need some change back, the change comes out at the very bottom. After your money is inside, you push different buttons and it will select the item and then the item will fall to the bottom of the machine and you lift open this section to grab your snack or whatever you bought from it. Usually the buttons will match the items inside. So the one that you're going to do has six buttons and six items for sale. So if I push the A button, this is what I'm buying. If I push the E button, this is what I'm buying. So you're gonna use this worksheet to make your own vending machine. And this is the example that the teachers have made in case you need to look at something to help you today. So we're going to talk about the directions to make this vending machine. You need to keep this one that you design and decorate yourself because you will use it for our lesson on Thursday. If you lose it before Thursday, you can always use the teacher example, but it's more fun to do math with your own vending machine. So just a reminder to save that for Thursday this week. So I need to choose a category, just like the original example has all snacks inside of the vending machine water, granola, sunflower seeds, mints, cheese sticks, crackers, peanuts, pretzels, raisins, and rice cakes. All of the things inside the vending machine are in the same category. The category is snacks and that's the title at the top. You can do a vending machine for anything that would be pretty small and anything that would be convenient for other people to buy. So you can make your vending machine sell whatever you want as long as it's appropriate for school. You could have a vending machine in an airport that's selling different technology pieces like headphones and chargers that people forgot. There's vending machines that sell makeup in case you forgot something. There's just soda machines that have all different kinds of drinks and beverages. I'm going to do fruits for my example. You're welcome to do fruits too. You might want to do vegetables. You might want to do snacks and just choose different snacks than the ones that are on here. It's really up to you. So, I need to choose a category and I'm going to add a title at the top that tells people who are walking by this vending machine what is inside. Then I'm going to pick six items to fill the vending machine since there are six letters and stars. I'm just gonna do a few as an example, but I know that you will do all six so that your vending machine is full with a lot of different choices. So I'm gonna do a pair and I might label it so that my teacher can see what I drew. And then I think I'm going to also do an apple. And you can color at the end so that people can tell, oh, that's a red apple or a green apple in case they're shopping. Inside each star below the item, that's where the price goes. And we're doing the price in cents. We're not doing dollars in this vending machine that we're making. You might buy a couple of things and it equals a dollar or more, but the prices in your vending machine need to have a cent sign and they need to be less than a dollar, so less than 100 cents. You can pick numbers that have fives and tens. You can pick numbers that are lucky to you, like 23 is one of my lucky numbers because it's my birthday number. And then 
I might also do, let's see, 10 cents for the apple. Remember, you have a cent sign after each price and all of the prices are less than a dollar or less than a hundred cents. After you have drawn all six of your pictures and labels are great too, you can decorate or color your items if you would like. You can also color the rest of the vending machine. So maybe I wanna make the top of my vending machine orange. Or maybe I want to color the pear that I drew on my vending machine kind of menu, a green color, like a green pear. Maybe I want to color the stars yellow. You can decorate it however you would like, and you'll wanna finish this all the way and save it for Thursday. Remember to watch the Book Flicks book all about money, and remember to save this sheet for later this week. Good luck, mathematicians.